two things competitive players want, high frame rates and cool cosmetics. But what if I told you you really can't have your cake and eat it? What if I told you that using some of Hunt's legendary hunter skins will actually lower your frame rate? Serious? Well, you don't have to wonder what if, because that is what I'm telling you. Surprise! As soon as I got wind of this, I ran to the shooting range to test the phenomenon. And hoo boy, it is... it is not good. For reference, if anyone else decides to do their own testing or comparisons, I am running Hunt at 1080p in full screen with my frame rate capped at 141 FPS, as my monitor is 144Hz and I use G-Sync. Most if not all of my graphics settings are on low or off. I know, I know, I'm sweaty. And before anyone has a go at me, I will include my system specs in the description. For this video, I tested all the legendary hunters I've heard are the most problematic, plus a few extras and all the latest event hunters. And our baseline for this testing is the frame rate I get while using the standard tier one, two, and three hunters. While walking and sprinting around Fort and inside the compound's buildings with the tiered hunters, my frame stayed fairly steady at my cap of 141 FPS. Maybe a drop of three to five frames here and there, but that's about it. With the baseline established, let's take a look at the legendary hunters I tested, the worst of which being the ones currently obtainable through the Tide of Shadows Battle Pass. Pass. Cardinal Rain, the Wayward Helmsman, and Gar all saw a decrease of about 10 to 15 frames that was pretty consistent, and sometimes losing out on as many as 25. Like, that that's a lot. That's that's pretty drastic. But as drastic as losing 25 frames may be, that wasn't the biggest issue with the performance with these hunters. The overall instability of the frame rate, or how frequently and drastically it fluctuated, also made the game feel slightly choppy when looking around or sprinting. And I can only imagine how much worse both of these issues are impacting systems that can already only run hunt at, say, 60 FPS. Following close behind, Luz Mala, the Reaper, and Hail Mary seem to lose anywhere from 5 to 15 FPS, with the most consistent drops occurring indoors. The Fangshire, the Reptilian and Baby's first Reptilian seemed to lose 3-5 to five frames more consistently than the tiered hunters, but were otherwise fairly stable. Killbuyer, Felis, Redneck, and Kane all maintained 141 FPS about the same as the tiered hunters, with Felis, Redneck, and Kane's frame rates being almost indistinguishable as far as stability goes. And that is all of the legendary hunters I've had time to test so far, but I feel safe in assuming this issue of frame rates changing depending on the legendary hunter used extends to most if not all of them. Please Please keep in mind that these are the impacts to frame rate for my machine specifically. Depending on your PC specs and game settings, you may have a different experience. Credit for the discovery of these legendary hunter-based frame rate changes belongs to, I believe, user DismalWhereas3995 on Reddit, who has indicated that Kane specifically might actually increase one's frame rate slightly. Now I wasn't able to confirm this myself, as my frame rate becomes wildly inconsistent above 144 FPS with any hunter, which is one of the reasons why I cap it. But if this is true, I fear we may soon see the return of the Kane meta. God help us all. I know what you're wondering, and yes, Crytek has been made aware of this whole cosmetic-based issue. Hey! But until we get a fix, I guess at least some of the legendary hunters cost frames in addition to real money. Call it a surcharge or a drip tax. Fucking subscribe!